We are at the Drake power plant on the turbine deck between Drake unit five and six. Behind me is the temporary trolley that is gonna be used to help facilitate the assessment and repairs of Drake Unit 7. We are going through uh, as methodically as, as possible each, uh, each unit. It's been uh, very, very busy. We've had tens of thousands of feet of cabling we have pulled. What we're looking at right here is the steam turbine rotor for Drake 7. And what they're looking for is basically, is there evidence of any damage? Unit 7 suffered the most damage to the turbine itself. It lost oil due to the fire, and um, we lost oil to the bearings, so it came down running metal to metal. Drake Unit 7 for this plant is about 50% uh, of the output of the plant. For Colorado Springs Utilities, it's one of our four lowest cost producers of electricity, and it's vital that we get this unit back online. Even with the amount of work that we have to do on Unit 7, our timeline still is going to meet the fall deadline that we have set for ourselves. Getting Drake 7 up will bring the, the output of this plant to about 81% of the capability. The Unit 5 repairs will take a little longer. The initial focus for the plant restoration process has been on Drake Unit 6. We started up Drake 6 about seven weeks to the day after the fire. The attitude during the startup, it was cautious. We're, all right, we're gonna take our time, we're gonna get this unit up, and then we're going to make sure that every system is operating normal. We get up at full speed, no load, um, which is our idle point, and it was normal. Everything is operating normal. It was a sigh of relief. Unit 6 came online. When I turned that pistol grip to the closed position, uh, it closed the Unit 6's generator breaker and allowed electricity to flow from this power plant out to the community. When we synchronized for the first time, it was like, awesome, we synchronized. I had the plant manager clap his hands behind me, uh, scared me a little bit when I turned that, uh, turned that breaker on. It was this plant coming back into existence for all of us. It was a tremendous feeling. That success was a phenomenal accomplishment for this plant, for Colorado Springs Utilities, and it's the efforts of the Drake staff who all came together, supported this plant in starting up, and I suspect that Drake 6 will be online for a long time. Right now we're ahead of schedule, in large part because of the employees at Martin Drake. We take a lot of pride in what we do. The perseverance of all the employees here have been amazing. Um, and right now it's just excitement. You know, Unit 6 is on and 7 is on the way. The majority of us that work here are customers as well. So there's a lot of ownership that's, that's taken in this and a lot of pride that goes into it. So many people here love to work here. So many people love to provide this valuable service to our community. And knowing that we're going to be able to do that with 7, it, it's we're riding on cloud nine, you know, it's just really cool. It's almost awe-inspiring to see what people have done to come together and to make sure that these units get back online so that we can start providing power to the community. In my opinion, uh, Martin Drake kind of sets the standard as far as uh, teamwork, uh, getting the job done and, and doing it right. The outlook for Drake as a whole, I believe, is incredible. It's got a long life left in it. I'm hugely excited about, uh, about the future of this plant, about getting these units back up and running. By getting Drake 7, Drake 6, and this entire plant back online, we're able to provide the grid with low-cost energy. This plant is the heartbeat of Colorado Springs Utilities. We're all real excited to see this thing put, put in out megawatts. We're bringing the plant back to life. <laughs>